Hey guys, this is Tom Long, film critic for the Detroit News. This is The Real Deal. This week, the second week of summer, we have Speed Racer. Um, I don't know about you, I didn't have a clue what Speed Racer was. I mean, I know, knew it was some obscure cartoon from my youth, except my youth was not spent watching it. Well, it doesn't matter, as it turns out, because I'm guessing this movie doesn't look much like the cartoon anybody's acquainted with. It is a dazzling looking thing. It is amazing. It's like fireworks going off on screen for two hours full. The problem is it's like fireworks going off on screen two hours full. It's blinding after a while. <laughs> It's also the story, which is about this guy named Speed Racer, who likes to race really fast. Um, he is going to fight corporate America by beating them in a race. Anyways, the, the story is really dumb, folks, and it's set up in a real cartoony... Matter of fact, this is probably the closest um, film has ever come to blending live action with cartoon or with animation. It becomes just one thing. Um, so, you know, there's nothing to get too involved with emotionally. It's a pretty cold movie. That said, it, it's crazy, crazy visually, and it's built for little kids. This is not a movie that's built to entertain adults particularly. It's built to entertain kids. Hey, it's got a chimpanzee. When was the last time you saw a chimpanzee in a movie? Anyway, so if you've got a small kid, and if you don't mind being blinded for two hours, you might want to check out Speed Racer. I gave it a B minus because of the exciting visual effects. No getting around those. But like I say, it's pretty empty intellectually and emotionally. Um, also coming out this week is What Happens in Vegas with Cameron Diaz and Ashton Kutcher. Vegas! Vegas! This one is predictable as all get out. Uh, two people get drunk in Vegas, they're strangers, they get married, the next day they want to break up, except, whoops, one of them wins $3 million. Now, hey, they're married, they've got to split the money. Somehow a judge orders them to live together for six months. I am freezing the three million dollars and sentencing you to six months hard marriage. Objection! Welcome home, sweetheart. And what a surprise, this couple that can't stand each other finds out that they learn from each other and that they each make each other stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth is, is Diaz and Kutcher have some nice chemistry together. They're much better than this movie, um, but I don't know that most people are going to want to run out and catch that chemistry. I gave it a C. It's your average Hollywood comedy. See you next week.